Good evening. Queenslanders are going to have to find more money to keep the lights on with electricity bills soaring by nearly 14%. For most, it means another $190 a year. And hidden in that is a huge jump in what we'll pay just to be connected to the system every day. Every electricity bill hurts, especially when they're going up and Noel Francis's pension isn't. From last year and the one we just got in March, it was nearly doubled. It's ridiculous. It's even worse because as of July, it won't matter if Noel uses absolutely no electricity at all. The bill, just to be connected, is going up 66%. It's called the daily service charge. Right now, it's 50 cents a day. It's going up to 83. That's $303 a year before you flick a single switch. The increase in fixed costs is something that everybody's going to feel, but particularly those who can afford it the least. The average Queensland power bill is $1,407 a year. As of July, that jumps to 1598 an increase of 191 121 of that is the inescapable daily service charge, raised because customers with higher consumption are subsidising customers with lower consumption. Some of those costs are products of government policy in the case of the carbon tax, the renewable energy target, the solar bonus scheme. Others are just the costs that are required to produce and deliver that electricity. The government says we're paying for Labor's green scheme, solar rebates and the carbon tax that have left us with the bill. Every Queenslander pays $52.79 so other Queenslanders can make money from their solar panels. That doubles next year to $112.30. It doubles again the year after that to add $275 to every Queensland power bill. It's been a massive cost to customers who don't have solar panels. That's a policy failure. They were told it would help the environment. What they weren't told is that people would subsidise them. Labor says the 66% jump in the daily service charge stays whether there's a carbon tax or not and rebel in the LNP's election promise. Average households using around six megawatt hours per year could save around $120 on their power bills in 2012-2013. He lied to Queenslanders and now Queenslanders are seeing that every time they open their power bill. The government's cleared the way for more power companies to compete for business, hoping it slashes bills. At any given time, if I'm advised competition is not working, I have the right under the bill, if it's passed, to then re-regulate prices in this state. Pensioners like Noel say the sooner the better. I don't know how a lot of people can cope. Live now to Shane Doherty. Shane, will there be anything in Tuesday's budget that might help? Well, Andrew, asset sales, that's giving private companies a share of our energy businesses. It's been on the cards almost since the government was elected. But I think we forget one man alone has fought against that almost from the beginning. The Premier has doubted whether or not that particular deal would help Queenslanders or hurt them. Whether he's changed his mind, we'll find out on Tuesday. Andrew? We'll wait and see. Thank you, Shane.